Before the development of Hadoop, processing and analyzing large data sets was a daunting task, as traditional data processing techniques and tools were not designed to handle massive amounts of data. Prior to its existence, data processing typically involved using a Relational Database Management System or RDBMS or a data warehouse, which were designed for structured data and could not easily handle unstructured or semi-structured data, such as web logs, sensor data, or social media feeds. To process and analyze such data, businesses often had to rely on expensive and complex proprietary systems or custom-built solutions, which were not scalable and required a lot of resources to maintain. Hadoop changed this by providing a cost-effective, scalable, and efficient way to process large data sets using distributed computing techniques. Hello everyone and welcome to this video by Intellipad. In this video, we'll learn about Hadoop. Now let's take a look at the agenda. Firstly, we'll learn about what is Hadoop. Moving on, we'll take a look at its key components, use cases, advantages of Hadoop, challenges and limitations, what is the future of Hadoop, and lastly, a simple conclusion. Now before we begin, please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that bell icon for regular updates from us. Now let's get started with our first agenda which is, what is Hadoop? Hadoop is an open source framework for distributed storage and processing of large data sets. It was initially developed by Doug Cutting and Mike Caffarella in 2005 as a way to process large data sets in a distributed environment using commodity hardware. The main goal of Hadoop is to enable the processing of massive amounts of data in parallel on a large cluster of commodity hardware. Hadoop achieves this by providing two core components. That is Hadoop Distributed File System or HDFS and MapReduce. HDFS is a distributed file system that can store and manage large data sets across multiple machines. It is designed to handle large files and supports replication to ensure fault tolerance. MapReduce is a programming model for processing large data sets across a cluster of machines in a parallel and distributed manner. Together, SDFS and MapReduce provide a powerful framework for handling big data, which has made Hadoop a popular choice for businesses and organizations dealing with large data sets. Now let's talk about the key components of Hadoop. Now there are three. Firstly, we have Hadoop Distributed File System, that is HDFS. HDFS is the primary storage component of Hadoop. It is designed to store and manage large data sets across a cluster of machines. HDFS splits large data sets into smaller blocks and distributes them across the nodes in the cluster. It also replicates the data across multiple nodes to ensure fault tolerance. HDFS is optimized for storing and processing large files such as video files or log files. Next up we have MapReduce. MapReduce is the core processing component of Hadoop. It is a programming model for processing large data sets in parallel across a cluster of machines. MapReduce works by dividing the input data into smaller parts, processing them in parallel on different nodes, and then combining the results into a final output. Next up, we have Yarn, which is yet another resource negotiator. Yarn is a resource management system that manages resources and schedules tasks in a Hadoop cluster. Yarn enables multiple data processing engines to run simultaneously on the same cluster, which makes it possible to run a wide variety of applications on a Hadoop cluster. With that, let's take a look at the use cases. Now, Hadoop has a wide range of use cases across various industries. Here are some of the most famous ones. Firstly, we have retail, then comes financial services, healthcare, telecommunications, manufacturing, and lastly, energy. Let's discuss all of these in detail. First is retail. Retailers use Hadoop to analyze customer data, such as purchase history, web browsing behavior, and social media interactions, to gain insights into customer behavior and preferences. These insights can be used to develop targeted marketing campaigns, personalize product recommendations, and optimize pricing strategies. Hadoop is also used to manage and analyze large volumes of inventory and supply chain data. Next, we'll talk about financial services. Financial institutions use Hadoop to analyze transaction data, customer behavior, and risk models. Hadoop can help detect fraudulent activities, optimize investment strategies, and assess credit risk. Hadoop is also used for real-time analytics of market data and for compliance reporting. Next comes healthcare. 
Health care organizations use Hadoop to manage and analyze large volumes of medical data such as electronic health records, clinical trial data, and medical imaging. Hadoop can be used to develop predictive models for disease diagnosis and treatment to analyze population health trends and to improve patient outcomes. Next comes telecommunications. Telecommunication companies use Hadoop to manage and analyze large volumes of customer data such as call records, text messages, and social media interactions. Hadoop can help identify customer sentiment, detect network anomalies, and optimize network performance. Now comes manufacturing. Manufacturers use Hadoop to manage and analyze large volumes of data from sensors and machines in their production facilities. Hadoop can help optimize production processes, detect equipment failures, and improve product quality. Lastly, we have energy. Energy companies use Hadoop to manage and analyze data from sensors and meters in their power generation and distribution systems. Hadoop can help optimize energy generation and distribution, detect equipment failures, and reduce downtime. With that, let's take a look at the advantages. Now, Hadoop has several advantages that make it a popular choice for handling big data. Here are some of the key advantages. Firstly, we have scalability, flexibility, cost-effective, high performance, open source, and ecosystem. Let's discuss all of this in detail. Hadoop is designed to scale horizontally, which means it can handle large amounts of data by adding more machines to the cluster. This makes it easy to scale up or down as data volumes change and eliminates the need for costly upgrades to hardware or software. Flexibility Hadoop can handle a wide variety of data types, including structured, semi-structured, and unstructured data. It can also handle different data sources, such as social media, log files, and machine-generated data. This flexibility allows organizations to store and process a variety of data types in a single platform. Next comes cost-effective. Hadoop is designed to run on commodity hardware, which is much cheaper than traditional enterprise storage and processing solutions. This makes it a cost-effective solution for managing and analyzing large volumes of data. High performance. Hadoop is designed to process data in parallel across a cluster of machines, which enables it to handle large volumes of data in a shorter amount of time. Hadoop also includes optimization techniques such as data locality and speculative execution to further improve performance. Then comes open source. Hadoop is an open source platform, which means it is freely available and can be customized to suit specific business needs. This also means that a large community of developers is constantly working to improve and enhance the platform. Lastly, we have ecosystem. Hadoop has a large and growing ecosystem of tools and technologies that work with the platform, such as Apache Spark, Apache Hive, and Apache Pig. These tools enable organizations to perform a wide range of data processing and analytics tasks using the Hadoop platform. Now let's move on to challenges and limitations. While Hadoop offers many benefits for managing and processing big data, there are some challenges and limitations associated with the platform. Let's take a look at some of them. Firstly, complexity. Hadoop is a complex platform with many moving parts, which can make it challenging to set up and manage. It requires specialized skills and knowledge to design, configure, and maintain a Hadoop cluster. Next comes security. Hadoop has some security limitations, particularly with respect to data encryption and access control. This can be a concern for organizations that handle sensitive or confidential data. Next comes performance. While Hadoop is designed to handle large volumes of data, its performance can be impacted by factors such as data skew and network bandwidth. This can result in slower processing times and longer job completion times. Next up, we have data quality. Hadoop does not have built-in mechanisms for data validation and cleansing, which can lead to issues with data quality. Organizations need to ensure that data is properly cleaned and validated before it is loaded into Hadoop. Next comes compatibility. Hadoop may not be compatible with all existing software and hardware infrastructure in an organization, which can lead to integration challenges. Storage limitations. Hadoop's distributed file system, HDFS, is optimized for large files, but it can struggle with small files. 
This can result in inefficient use of storage resources and slower processing times. Lastly, we have resource requirements. Hadoop requires a significant amount of hardware resources, including storage, memory, and processing power. This can be a challenge for organizations with limited budgets or infrastructure. Let's talk about the future of Hadoop. The future of Hadoop is an interesting and evolving topic. Here are some of the potential trends and developments that may shape the future of the platform. We have cloud adoption. Many organizations are moving towards cloud-based infrastructure and services. And this trend is likely to continue for Hadoop as well. Cloud-based Hadoop offerings such as Amazon EMR and Microsoft Azure HD Insight are already available and are likely to become more popular in the future. Next, we'll talk about integration with machine learning and AI. Hadoop is well suited for handling large volumes of data, which is also a key requirement for machine learning and AI applications. As a result, we may see increased integration between Hadoop and machine learning and AI platforms, such as TensorFlow and PyTorch. Streaming data processing. Hadoop has traditionally been used for batch processing of large volumes of data, but there is growing interest in real-time or streaming data processing. Hadoop's streaming capabilities such as Apache Kafka and Apache Storm may become more important in the future. Focusing on security and governance. As more organizations use Hadoop for sensitive or confidential data, there will be increased focus on security and governance features. This may include improvements to data encryption, access control, and auditing. Next, we have containerization. Containerization is a popular trend in the software development world, and it is likely that Hadoop will also be containerized in the future. This would make it easier to deploy and manage Hadoop clusters and would also improve scalability and flexibility. Lastly, we have integration with other big data technologies. Hadoop is just one component of the big data ecosystem, and we may see increased integration between Hadoop and other big data technologies such as Apache Spark, Apache Flink, and Apache Beam. With that, we have reached the end of this video. And in conclusion, Hadoop is a powerful and flexible platform for managing and processing big data. Its distributed architecture, fault tolerance, and scalability make it well suited for handling large volumes of data across multiple nodes in a cluster. Hadoop has evolved significantly since its inception. With the addition of new components and technologies such as Yarn, Edgebase, and Spark, making it more versatile and capable than ever before. While Hadoop offers many benefits, it is not without its challenges and limitations. Organizations need to carefully consider these issues when deciding whether to adopt Hadoop as part of the big data infrastructure. Nonetheless, the future of Hadoop looks promising. With trends such as cloud adoption, machine learning integration, and containerization likely to shape the platform in the years to come. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Just a quick info, guys. If you want to make a career in big data, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification in big data analytics by ENICT Council IIT Guwahati. It is taught by IIT professors and industry experts. With more than 10 years of experience, this course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.